Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Today we're going to be having a look at a CRKT icon on its fourth version. This is the Pilar 4. Now the Polar 4 is such a new model, the links aren't ready yet, but when it is, if you want to purchase one of these, make sure you check out that link in the description below. Let's begin with our size reference, just so you can get a feel of what that's going to feel like in your hand. So there it is next to a permanent marker. Take the blade, open that up a little bit. I can check that out. Just so you can compare the thickness there. Then let's see the thickness here. So, right, so here's a pair of chopsticks. That's the thin side. So it's more probably in line with the thicker side. Just want to show you the thickness of the spine area here. Look at that. So here's a nickel. Look at how thick that is. That is crazy. That might be three nickels thick on there. Really chunky up top. All right, let's see how much the Pilar 4 weighs. Coming in at 3.8 ounces. A deck of cards, fully loaded, coming in at right around 3.4 ounces. So just a little bit heavier than a deck of cards. All right, let's have a look at this blade shape. And as you can see, that is a 1,000% clip point design. And it is a fierce looking mug. Look at that thing. Pilar 3 was a drop point. Before that, it was a sheep's foot. And that, I mean, just that is a clip point design. Really flat grind on there, so if you look at it, really flat grind all the way up. Not a shoulder on there, or well, maybe a little shoulder right here, but pretty much a flat grind all the way up there. Satin finish, beautiful satin finish. Steel type is D2, so it's going to take a real sharp edge and last for a really long time. Beautiful clip point. And just like the rest of the Polar line, the opening mechanism is a simple thumb hole. So you can jam your thumb in there, rotate around that way, or you can use your middle finger, pinch it like that, open it that way. Or you can do the back flip where you take your middle finger and you flick it open that way. Really smooth IKBS bearing system, very smooth. And of course we have the frame lock that fits right underneath the base of the blade there. Nice, nice smooth opener. Get you a close-up of these G10 scales. Very similar to past models. Not very aggressive. It's not going to tear up your hands or your pocket. And I just love the way that they have the contrast for the black G10. The satin finish on the blade and the hardware. And then when you flip it over to the other side, it all just kind of blends in. With the exception of this massive brass backspacer, which is so chunky. Have a look at that right there, guys. Really aggressive jimp in there. That is some chunky jimping, but look at that. For those into lanyard holes, <laughs> that is massive. Pocket clip is not reversible, so it's right hand carry only tip up. And again, I just want to point out this fairly large, some people consider it spooky finger choil up front. Some people are just want to keep it back here, and that's fine, I understand. But there's tons of room for your pointer finger up here and because of how thick this spine is a lot of room for your thumb right up on top here so if you're going to do more detailed work feel safe you'll be all right all right this is what that pocket clip is going to look like not bad at all and just in case you're wondering how sharp this clip point d2 steel is out of the box hmm. plenty sharp well, alright guys, this has been the new CRKT Pilar 4 with that beautiful clip point blade design, D2 steel, fast opening IKBS bearing system, and just an iconic knife. If you're looking for a new EDC blade, this might be the one for you. Remember, the link isn't ready yet, but in the future, check it out if you want to purchase one of these. Guys, that's the ending of the video. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.